Onion thrips may be a tiny little insect, but with their rasping, sucking mouth parts and ability to asexually reproduce, they can do a lot of damage with little warning. Today we're going to talk to Tyler Blau, the IPM coordinator here at the research station, to figure out how to find them in your fields and when you should be spraying. And then we're going to talk to Travis Cramner, the Omafer onion specialist, to walk us through what the best products are for onion thrips in 2022. So scouting for thrips starts early in the season. You can start looking for thrips in transplant onions as soon as they're in the ground. And you can start looking for them in seeded onions once they're around the third true leaf stage. So thrip activity usually starts sometime in June here in the Hall of Marsh um, when the weather starts to become a little bit hot and dry. And thrips can be a little bit hard to see with the naked eye if you're, uh, you're untrained, but with a little bit of training, um, they are quite easy to identify. So to start looking for thrips in your onions, what you want to do is mainly look at the three youngest leaves. So the youngest leaf is often coming out in the middle here. And what you want to do is pull the youngest leaf from the leaf right beside and look down into the neck of the onion. And this is generally where the thrips like to live. So you look down in here, you count the number of thrips that you see on either side of the newest leaf. And then you come to a total number of thrips that you, uh, you have found in that plant. Now there's two uh, life stages of thrips that we're looking for. We're looking for the nymphs, which are quite small. They don't move around as much. And they're generally whitish to a little bit of a yellow kind of color. And then we're also looking for adults, which are a little bit larger and they move around quite fast. So you have to be kind of quick in counting them. And uh, they're a little bit of a beige brown kind of color. So, when we scout our onion fields, we generally look at 100 plants per field. Um, so of those 100 plants, you want to um, accumulate and, and total the number of thrips that you find throughout. Um, and then when you're done scouting that field, you want to take that total thrips number. You want to divide by 100 for the 100 plants that you looked at. And then you also want to divide by the average number of leaves that you're finding in that onion field. And then that will give you a thrips per leaf uh, count for that field. Now, this is all run through our IPM program here at the station. If you're interested in being part of the IPM program, please come on in or give us a call and we can add you to our scouting program or we can also add you to our IPM reports, which are sent out twice a week throughout the growing season. Now, scouting for thrips throughout the season is very important. Early in the season, you want to track the thrips populations um, as the populations start to build. Um, this is when you want to put on a certain insecticide. And then later on and throughout the rest of the season, you want to be tr uh, tracking the populations to see if they surpass a three thrips per leaf threshold. Now, all of these products and insecticides uh, to manage thrips will be discussed in the next session here. The level of thrips in an area varies greatly from year to year and field to field. Insecticides should only be applied if the level of thrips present in your field is building past threshold. Thrips have a relatively short life cycle, which means it's really important to rotate between different insecticide groups so that successive generations do not receive insecticides from the same mode of action in order to reduce the chance of insecticide resistance. For this reason, insecticides are best managed if the same active is sprayed back to back targeting the same generation of thrips, with no more than two weeks apart between applications. Movento 240SC has been found to be the best insecticide to start with since it has been shown to have systemic properties and some residual activity that works well on nymphs, but not as well on adults. After Movento is used, switch to a registered insecticide with a different mode of action. Apply the insecticide twice again, back to back, with no more than two weeks between the applications. Refer to the University of Guelph Crops Research Centre, Bradford, or the Ontario Crop Protection Hub to determine what insecticides are available and have the best efficacy on onion thrips. When using insecticides, use high water volumes when spraying to ensure insecticides are able to penetrate into the leaf axles and make contact with the onion thrips.